Welcome back to the Watt Winnable Garage. Today we're going to go back to these wear blocks they're called on my Jerrodan bed. But it is so old with no information because the data plate is gone that I cannot find the right part. First thing I had to do is dig down past the rotter wood there, find out what kind of fasteners we're looking at. Looks like a triple square. Let's see if we can find a bit that'll fit those. And this side's completely different. You can see there's bolt heads over there. So we'll attack that when we get to it. All right, say we got lucky. This side looks like a 22 will fit, but I don't know. Hopefully it's not just spinning underneath. That's backing out, so that's good yeah. news. A couple of big bolts there, yeah. and yeah, that's one way of doing it. They welded some nuts to the top of the plate here. Yeah, not real pretty, but about what I could do. So no, I'm not going to judge. And just cut out the wood to make it all fit. So I need to do the same thing. I'm just going to have to use pressure treated four by fours, cut them to fit. You can see why I need to change these. This is the driver's side completely worn out. Passenger side not so much but yeah they're both worn out so let's get those even so the bed sits even on the frame and puts less stress on it. Alright back from the wood shop of course the 4x4 is three and a half inches thick so by the time you take away the eighth inch thickness of the blade you're down to barely one and three quarters which is what I have here and uh, Matches the thickness of this one, which was the uh, yeah, this was the passenger side. So driver's side's worn out, and now we're up to the thickness at least, so they're both even, and we're gonna go from here. I think they call these motor spits, but anyway, I found a bit that fits the size of our bolt. So let's drive that down a bit. See if that's deep enough. So that gives us a little room for wear. I don't want to go too deep because I gotta bring this side up and cut it into it as well for the nut on the back side. And I want to leave as much material as possible. So call that good for now. So uh, put a coat of flu fill on here to protect from corrosion, and you know, it's just a matter of running down our bolts, which. I have since realized these were actually cut to make them shorter to clear the ramp so they weren't wearing down but they were in fact touching so real close to uh, being to wearing them down but we got it. I don't know, I'm still old school. I still like to feel how tight they are. And I do have a Jerdan lubrication sticker on the other side. Coat with general purpose grease. I'll coat this ramp here. I was able to replace these wear blocks. I did find those online. So I got a little bit of help. But I think on this old truck we're going to be on our own when it comes to keeping this bed in shape. And here you can see the pad I had welded on. Down here was a pretty bad repair that was tearing up what wood we had it was all the way forward. So I had this pad welded in. It's going to ride nice now. And that does make up some thickness. Uh, so the measurement of two inches uh, was what I came up with to fill in. But we only came up with about one and three quarter piece of wood. But this is a quarter inch thick piece of uh, plate here. So I think we're going to be all right. Whenever I do work like this, I always wonder what is correct. Was the other side with the big bolts correct? Was that the repair? Or is this side correct?
it kind of bugs me that they're not the same. But if I had to do it, I would think I would go this route. There's no need for bolts that big. Uh, this is holding it nicely. So I think that side is repaired and uh, maybe rotted out to the point where they couldn't get the uh, screws in. So they had to go to a bigger hole, which meant bigger bolts, and that's my opinion. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they're different, but in the end it don't matter. The bed's down. Most people see this truck. The main thing is it's functional. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. I'll get this lubed up and then we'll see if everything sits down nicely. For this short video I think it's short uh, it's an easy repair just a 4x4 block cut in half and uh, looped up put in place with the fasteners that we had so that'll keep the cost down and my aggravation down I thought trying to go after the uh, bolt pattern on the passenger side so they would all be the same but I think that's the repaired side and I don't see a need to do all that work for just to mimic a repair. This side is fine with the two screws. It's nice and secure. We got everything looped up and we are ready to go down the road with two blocks that are evenly now in height. So, see you in the next video.